Hi everyone, I'm Zycastic and welcome back to Subnautica! Oh, you're an angry little bird. Fish boy. Whatever. So, in this episode, I think... Oh yeah, right, the sunbeam's gonna arrive in about 30 minutes. So, I... You go away! Go away! No one likes you. So, until the sunbeam gets here, I think we're going to expand on my base. Also finish exploring that. Did I finish exploring that? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So, let's get to it, shall we? Now, I do have the cheatsies enabled so I can spawn in stuff like titanium and all that just for base building, mind you. Okay. Not going to do that for other things. This is only for base building. So it makes it easier myself. And you guys don't have to see as much grinding. So, saying, having said that, um, let me start my timer. And let's get started until we gotta go find the sunbeam. Where is the sunbeam again? Where is it landing? Um. What? Sunbeam! Signal, Aurora Rendezvous Point, uh, oh boy, why, yeah, 30 seconds of oxygen, yeah, okay, uh, where is, where's the beacon, where'd the beacon go, come on, I know it's somewhere, where is it, What the? F what? Rat? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, so over there. So now that we know where that's at. God, you can't even really see it in the in the water, can you? Unless you get like right up on top. Or am I just facing the wrong direction? I thought it was. Oh God, I'm lost again. Oh, there it is. It's in that direction. That's why. What? Fallen bacteria? What are you talking about? Okay, seriously, what what are you talking about, though? You need to do a self-scan? Alright, whatever you say, Cassidy. We'll do a self-scan. Well, that don't sound good. I wonder what that could be. Oh, I got new equipment. Right, the purple tablet. Diamond! Why does everything require a diamond? I swear, it's like it's an important element. I think that's just... That's just wrong. Oh, geez, yeah, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to spawn things in, so give me a minute. Surprised I didn't do this uh, before. You know, before I started recording. But I'm very dumb. So... Ooh. <gasps> oh, whoever's a fan of Dragon Ball Super. Apparently they... Something about to sell. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Huh! I figured it out. Okay, so it's very simple. Surprisingly. Now let's go, uh... Nope, there we go. Let's go make some more foundations so that things aren't going to be so- You get out of here! I don't want none of you around! No! Shoo! Oh! Huh. He listened to me! How very polite- Ah, oh, you're still friggin' here! Ah, get out of here! No one wants you! Your family disowned you for a reason. Um, I don't have that much room. Wait a minute, I got this. Hold on a minute, I got this. Item, titanium. Five. Yes, oh no. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, shit. That shit. 
drop the copper, go and pick up that titanium. So it's not in my way. Okay. Let's build a locker. Uh, yeah, there we go, a locker. One big old locker, smack dab right here. There we go. Now we can st store all of our stuff in it, all of the quartz and copper until we need it. There we go. You guys go in there too. Everything but the essentials. Okay, now let's build more foundations. I hit the wrong button. I'm so dumb! Alright, what do I need for a moon pool? Titanium ingots, two. I need two of them. So, item titanium yum ingot two. Oh, that worked. Oh, huh. cool. Item lubricant one. Okay, let's make that moon pool. Make the moon pool! Yes. The moon pool will be mine. Yes! Yes. It is mine. Mine moon pool. Eh, maybe I should switch this. You know, like, um. Okay, Cassidy. I get it. Maybe I should, like, uh. Rotate it. How do I do that? R. Can I rotate the moon pool? Or is it just forever, uh... Or is it just forever like that? I'm pretty sure... Yeah. I can't rotate the moon pool! Fantastic! What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, crazy lady? Hmm. I have an idea. So instead, instead. Thirty seconds. Okay, I get it. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. You don't have to keep reminding me. Actually, let me go inside real quick. Do 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 do. Got to get inside so I don't die. Ah, that's better. Got like good oxygen. Oh, that good, sweet oxygen. Oh, yeah. That's real nice. That's looking super nice. Why can't I build you here? What? Why can't I build you? Do I need another... Uh, oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough of the things. That is why. Okay. Well, that's a no problem for me. Titanium. Ten. Er, no. We'll go twenty. Er, I forgot a thing. Item. There we go. Now I've got quite enough. I still can't build it. Come on. You piece of poo. Fine, I'll do it with it. I need more lead. Okay, I think I'll be back when this base is built so you guys don't have to watch all of this. Because even though it's, uh, you know, shorter, it's still going to be kind of boring. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I did part of the base. I fixed a lot of stuff. And uh, this is what it is now. This is pretty close to what I wanted, too. Like, exactly what I wanted. The moon pool in the middle. Two of them on the sides. I can put entrances on each side. And I'll expand the base from here. But for now... With the, about 10 minutes left, let's just head over to where the sunbeam is. We have plenty of time um, to get there and not miss getting rescued. <laughs> That'd be very bad. Yay! Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. Even you stalkers, you guys are all right. Except for when you try to bite me in the ass. Then you're... Then you're not so nice. Gotta say. Not so nice. We're almost there, only 800 meters. Ooh. Hey, another red, uh, red, the uh, biome. 
or grass biome, whatever it's called. I have no idea what the actual name is. But what is this? What is this place, eh? A giant wall around what? Okay, actually, what is this? Oh, oh, I I know where this I know what this place is. Th these are the floating islands. Yeah. And there's a wreck. I go to it, but there's a lot of nasties around here. And I don't. Yeah, these nasties. Ooh, you're infected with some. Ew. No, go away. No one wants you. You're bad. Get. Scram. Alakazam. What's down there? This looks even deep. How deep down does this go? Oh. Oh, hey, we're at the landing site. And we have another message to go back to. This is very nice. Ooh. That would be a silver outcropping. I'm going to come back for you when I have a prawn suit. I promise. I will be back. And a lot of lead. I think that's lead. Yeah, that's definitely lead. Yeah. Heh. What massive signature? What the fuck? Ah. What is that? Um. Ah, oh, my inventory is full. Drop the titanium. I need to eat. Give me a real quick second here, everybody. No, I want to eat. Give me the eats. Give me the eats. Okay, what is this? What are you? What is this? Some type of building, obviously, but who would have made it? Doesn't look like it would have been made by the... Degassi survivors. Damn. Oh, what is this? Purple table fragment. Okay, got titanium from that. Uh, is there anything? What else is there to explore around here? Oh, turn that on. There's those motion detected light. Oh my god, that's so sophisticated. Much better than the ones that we have right now. Those things will only work half the time. Oh, another pat, another tablet. So it looks like I can get in from the side down there, huh? or I'm barred off for right now. What is hap What is this? Oh, that I want. That I definitely, definitely want. Oh, that'll save me so much more time and energy. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme now. Oh, yeah. Actually, when it, you know what? I'll just pick up the gel sack now. Yes. Gel sack. Yeah, you have no idea how much time this is going to save me by getting it now. Oh, boy. It's going to be a lot of time saved. Especially when I got to go grind for resources to build stuff. Which I will. I'm not just going to cheat with uh, everything here, guys. I'm going to do a lot of it legitimately. Another gel sack. Oh, this place, what? this place is great, but what is this? This type of barrier. What are you? Hey. Insert the tablet. Oh. That kind of just magnified itself in. Okay. Force field control. Let's uh, let's scan that. This device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Okay, that was weird. Ooh, that's a lot of fishies. That's a lot of fishies. I should build my base here. I can get an unlimited number of fish. I'll have food forever. Food for days. I think I'll just skip until the sunbeam arrives. How about that? 
I think that sounds pretty good. I'll do that. Oh, I broke my leg. I love, the, I love the jumping noises in this game, though. Oh, no, not falling again. I'm not falling again for your tricks, little peeper. Come back to the shore, little peeper. Let me kill you. I mean, become friends with you. Come here, little peeper. Little peeper, little peeper. Oh, little peeper was sleeping. You see, he had it. You guys see, he had his eyes closed. Little people, the little people were sleeping. Oh, you're so adorable. You know what? Just because you were sleeping, little peeper, I'll be nice. I almost pressed the consume, consume button. Not gonna lie, almost pressed the E button. Whew! That was close. But because you were sleeping, I'm gonna let you go. You were cute. What is this building? We got two minutes until the sunbeam gets here. If we can go, we should find out what the building is, but we don't have time. Wish I'd come in sooner. I could have explored. Maybe we'll be able to make them wait so we can. Hmm. Pondering. Pondering, pondering. Also very interesting. What could this be? The... Uh, the uh, possibilities are endless. What's that noise? That in game? I'm hoping it is. Um, uh, huh. Well, I guess we'll just go over to the waiting spot. Little peeper, you came back. I'm, I know we're friends, little buddy, but you gotta go. You gotta stay in the ocean where you can breathe and live. You can't stay up here. Also, what is, uh, what's with the little splashes? I was like, you guys see the little splotches, like those little splotches, I guess would be the term for it, on the screen. screen? It's, I don't think it's supposed to represent sunlight, or else they might fade out or something. I don't know. But they're there. I don't know what they're for. I don't have my helmet on. Hmm. Also curious. Oh wait, yay! It's almost time. We can almost get off of this planet. Finally, we can leave. Thirty seconds left. What? Oh, what? Tough. What's happening? The the building is moving. What is this? Um. What? I, okay, that looks less like a building now. Oh, um, yeah. Eight seconds to the sun being good. Oh, what's gonna happen? What that noise is making? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Sunbeam. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Ah, oh, shit. Is that a building down there? Where are they? Huh? Where are they? I'm never able to know where they're at. There they are. I see them. Sunbeam, I see you! Come rescue me! Where'd they go? Oh, they just disappeared? Oh, god dang it! Oh. Well, um, now we know what you're for. You're a big ass gun. But more pressing concern, what the hell? It disappeared. That shouldn't be happening in the four weeks of the game. Ah, so disappointing. But also, what the hell? What are you? Well, since the sunbeam's gone, we can't leave now. I guess we're gonna have to just go inside and figure out why you got shot down. Ugh. 
I think it's moving back. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh. What are you? What does that mean? Okay, you do that. Um, something pop up. Okay, uh, what the... What? What are you? What are you? Ion cube. Cool. Oh, you're big. You're a big boy. Gotta keep my weapon ready. We don't know what's in here. Huh? I think both. Honestly, if I'd have to uh, take a guess, I think both would be a pretty good guess. Inventory full? Are you friggin' serious? And I can't drop anything because I'm technically inside. Alright, what do you got? Data terminal. Um, okay, is there, and, okay, fine, whatever, don't, don't make any actual effort. I don't, oh, jeez, um, no, thank you. Oh, um, we're floating. Okay. Yeah, sit me down real nice, if you please. Oh well then, okay, I got, oh. Oh, this is a moon pool, technically, like, huh. A pressurized, uh, ooh, wow, this is big. What the hell, what kind of vehicles are, what? What kind of vehicles would they have been bringing in here that would be that big? Makes you wonder. Ooh, what's this? Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry or form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Yeah, that'd be real nice if I could have that. Yeah, if I could get it like a bat or a blunt object and just shatter that glass, it'd be great. And another crystal which I can't get because I'm full full of stuff what are you alien arc arc for what this structure's intended purpose is unclear theories on function ceremony or a religious role industrial applications advanced advanced transportation network assessment further research required well shite Looks like we're not going to be finding any answers soon. Or if we are, it's going to have to delve deeper into this place. So we can find out why the sunbeam was shot down. That would be nice to know. Okay, so there's another purple tablet over there. I probably should have just dropped my stuff in the uh, thing. Ooh, what are you? Alien device. Dooms... Oh, what? Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Yeah, I guess that, uh... Whew! I guess that is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, very real good. Real great. Um... Cool! I guess we might be able to finally find out why. Uh... What are you? Can I scan you? Um, hi. Energy core. What is this? This device has an energy equivalent to 100 megatons in 
nuclear detonation to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pole to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. So that must be how the Aurora got shot down. This thing shot down the Aurora and stranded this, stranded us on this planet. You asshole! How dare you! I guess we'll... Is this the shutoff button? I guess we'll interact with it. Yeah. We can just press the button. Oh! Oh, uh, hi, buddy. How you doing? You look uh, cute. Uh, no. Ah, that was a big needle. The control panel is broadcast in a second. Transmit reads: Warning: Infected individual huh? may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Infected? What am I infected with? Infected? Uh, come again. What? Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Um. Translating background broadcast. What? Downloading summary for data. Skin irritation? What? Uh, you, you mind repeating that so I know what you're talking about? This doesn't sound very good, guys. Um, I'm infected with something, apparently. And I don't know what it is. Huh. So what does it read? Downloading summary to... Okay. What? What? Codes and clues. Alien facility locations. What? More facilities. Huh? Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Depth 800 meters. Location, cave system with ex extensive fossil record, southwest of enforcement platform. Function, live specimen study. Objective, synthesize an antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Karar. The Karar, uh, okay, so I guess we're infected with something called the Karar. I know it says Karar, but it used to be Karar, so I'm just going to keep calling it Karar. That doesn't sound good if it's highly infectious. Um, the thermal power facility, depth, 1,200 meters. Oh, my God. Location, in Shut up, Cassidy. Location, inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of in intense volcanic activity. Function, generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite rapid... Data corrupted for all of these. Why? In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will automatically be enforced with the immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing sh craft to prevent the spread of the infection off-world. So that's why this is here. Anything that comes into contact with the planet will be infected. But if that's the case, why are... Why would... It, and that it's extremely uh, infectious... Why is there still life, you know, on the planet? If it was... I don't know. I mean, if it's as infectious as they talk about, how could life be still, um, be functioning here? Everything should be dead. Or... Uh, hmm. That's a possibility. So, you know those animals with the green spots? When we took a self-scan, that said skin irritation and something else about it. The fauna outside with the green spots, that could be the irritation it's talking about. The, the green dots appearing, blemishes on the skin. That could be it, which would be a symptom of the Karar. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. I know more than I'm leading on, but I want to keep you guys in the dark so you can figure this, so you can learn it on your own and be surprised and shocked when everything happens. And I hope it's working. 
But yeah. Shit. So I guess the next place we'd have to go would be the research for, uh, yeah, the research facility. Which is 800 meters down. My, my Seamoth can't go that far. I think, I'd ha I think I'd have to get it fully upgraded. With a depth module. And the only way I can get a depth module is by going on to the friggin, uh, the Aurora, I think. Which, oh boy, that'll be fun. But, uh, that'll be all for this episode. It's been a long one. We've explored the containment, or is that what it is? Where the containment facility, which keeps this planet free from the virus getting off. And the Aurora got shot, uh, not the Aurora, the Sunbeam got shot down, so there goes our way home. I guess we're stuck here. Fantastic. Great. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this episode. And the next one, I don't know what's going to happen. I think we'll... I think we'll have to be going to find the uh, research facility. And also exploring the Aurora. And building my base up to its fullest capacity. All these things must be done. But for now, that's it for this episode. So I'll see everyone in the next video. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright. Goodbye everyone.